Hey everybody, Private Jack here. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, a bug that's known about in uh, the particle system that we're using and how to fix it in real time so that we don't have to leave a project and go and mess with the particle element editor. Anyway, here's my screen and I've already got a couple of particles loaded and I just want to show you the effects. When I load this system, what I'm doing is I've got two effects here. You notice the botchiness here? Well, there's a bug in the system and basically what we're going to do is we're going to fix it. This is what the effects should actually look like. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to load these effects, how to edit them and make them work properly. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my screen here and I'm going to delete the elements that I have here already. Poof, they're gone. Okay, let's get started. First thing we have to have is we have to have a map. And I just happen to have a Halloween type map here uh, because of that one spooky effect that we have. Ooh. Anyway going to load a new particle system and I'm going to browse for the particle system and I know that this particular one lives in items FX or items FX DX 80. I'm just going to use the items FX for my purpose. And the element that we're looking for is super rare green energy. Super rare green energy is right here. I'm going to make it run for start at zero, run for 10 seconds and the particle will last for the entire clip. Okay. Well, what happened here? Uh, there's no particle. Well, the reason for that is in order for an ar a particle to show up after it's loaded, you have to take the um, playhead, take it off the clip, and bring it back onto the clip. And, like I said, we get that weird-looking effect with the blotchiness in it. Uh, this also takes place in... And I'm going to load this particle system up because it's slightly, the fix for it is slightly different. It's the same fix, it's just slightly different. Okay, so it also lives in items FX after you download or take it out of the GCF, that is. And this one is called Unusual Storm Spooky. It is right in here. And I'm going to start that one at zero, run it for 10 seconds, and let it the system lifetime live for the entire clip. Uh, again, where is it? Well, take the playhead off the shot, move it back on, and it will start to render. Now, in order, yeah, I can move these things around like any normal object now. What I have to do is I have to come into the motion editor, select the item I want to move, and I'm going to move the unusual storm spooky off to the right a little bit. Uh, it didn't move. Why? Well, move the playhead. It'll move. So, now we've got the effects, and they're acting kind of strangely. We've got the big blotchy things in there and that we know that that's not what it's supposed to look like. How do we fix it? Well, we could go into the uh, particle editor and fix the entire thing there so that it will be fixed anytime we use the system, uh, the particle systems. But right now we're in a big project. We have to get it done and we want to do it right here in uh, Source Filmmaker. So the way that we do that is we right click on one of the or on one of the uh, animation sets and we show it in the 
element viewer. And the portion of it that we're going to show in the element viewer is the particle system. Okay. Now, from there, and I'm working with this guy right here. From there, I'm going to right-click on the name of the particle. And I'm going to create an instance of the particle system. And what that did is it had added a little plus sign here beside the particle system definition. I'm going to click on that plus sign. And this is where the bug is. Okay, if I look at the particle system and I move down here to materials, I'll see that the materials is referring to a VMT. And the VMT is wispy underscore smoke underscore add. Well, it's referring to the wrong VMT. It should only be effects slash wispy underscore smoke. So I'm just going to remove the word add here and the underscore behind smoke. I'm going to hit enter and look, all of a sudden the element loses that blotchiness and it flows into its proper, looks proper now. Okay, so that's got that one fixed. I'm going to go back into the animation set editor. Now I'm going to select the unusual storm spooky one. Now I said that it's the same fix, but this is slightly different. And the reason why this is slightly different is because this particular effect uses more than one element. So I'm going to right click on usual unusual storm spooky I'm going to show it in the element uh, element viewer and I'm going to show the particle system see there's no plus sign there right now beside the particle system definition I'm going to right click on the name of the particle and I'm going to create an instance of the particle system that plus sign comes up beside the particle system definition I'm going to click on that plus and I'm going to scroll down here to material. Material says I'm large smoke. Well, it's not the large smoke that's giving us the problem. Where the problem lies is that this particular element or this particular particle system has six children. Okay? If I click on the plus side beside children, I'll find that there are six elements or six particles that are used to make up this particular particle system. Now, what I have to do is I actually have to search through these and find the one that's causing the problem. So I'm going to click on the plus side beside unusual smoke, smoke uh, spooky rain. And I'm going to click on the child, and I'm going to come down here to materials, and I find that it's effect sparks. That's not the one that's giving us the problem. I'm going to do that for each of these. Now, here you have to be careful as well because if you look over here at the children, if the children has more than one particle definition, it should show over here. And then you have to start going through those ones as well. But if I look at this one and I come down here to material, I see it's large smoke. That's not the one that's giving me the problem. Come here into lightning 2 and I click on children and I see it's spooky lightning too. Come into lightning the main material is large smoke but under the child I look down here at material and lo and behold look there's that wispy smoke ad again. What we have to do is we have to get rid of the word ad and the underscore behind smoke hit enter and if I play the animation now I'm gonna find that that big white blotch is gone and the anime uh, the uh, particle system plays properly there we go see that big white blotch is gone and the, all the pixelated uh, squares are gone from the green glow so now we have it working properly this is how you fix particle systems on the fly using the animation set editor 
and the element viewer. Hope this tutorial has been informative. Uh, please leave a comment on the uh, site uh, if you found it informative or if you think it needs a little more. Anyway, with that, Private Jack, out.